And this little guy here is a night herring. Usually doesn't come out during the day, but he just found himself a little a little business here. I'm, I'm sure he gets paid in shrimp. They're actually out of shrimp today, but it goes right in there. Check him out. Beautiful eyes. You want to say something? Say, get out of my house. <laughs> All right, buddy. And welcome to the real uncharted map of Fort Myers and Sanibel's wrecks and artificial reefs. The main ones at least. We have USS Mohawk Navy ship all the way out. The school bus. Closest to us we have the May artificial reef. This is where we went on day one and we caught Mr. Blowfish. On day two we went out a little bit further to Doc Klein. And that's where we caught the whiting. And a balloon. Now day three, we're going to be going to GH. This is a barge that was sunk back in 1997. It's about five miles away from Fort Myers Beach Island and about 25, 26 feet deep. Let's go see if anybody's home. All right, everybody, it is day three of fishing. We're gonna try to get that barracuda. The string here is a beaky full of bait. Hopefully, if you can hear, feeling some drag. There we go, that's what you wanna see right here. The string full of bait fish. These usually cost about $10 a pop at the bait shop, so not bad for a $4 sabiki that you can reuse. I have a love and hate relationship with sabikis. They do work, as you saw, but I, depending on the fish, they might swallow it and I lose that hook, so now I'm down a hook on the line. And then a couple of them started tangling in each other while they were still in the water, and then, sure enough, I lost a couple more hooks. So I'm down with two hooks on this. Let's see how many I can catch anymore. Guys, happy to say, three days of fishing paid off. Look what we got on the line. A beautiful, beautiful grouper. Beautiful, <laughs> I am so psyched right now. Woo, three days. Oh my God. Live filter, sent it to the bottom at GH Reef. And sure enough, man, that thing gave me a life of, can't even talk, a fight of a lifetime. The kudos are swimming all around, checking it out. 
That's right, this one is mine. <sighs> Oh my god, we went from blowfish to a whiting to a gag grouper. I'm, I'm gonna venture that was about 23, 24 inches if I had to guess. It was a big one. But it fought me so hard and I have this bigger rod and reel. Um, it's actually uh, all Shakespeare. I'm, I'm due for new gear. I have better gear inside the boat, but this is what I was using and the handle nearly broke on me. I had to sort of I don't know, go around my with my using my hand. It wasn't just letting me crank. I don't even know how to explain that. I'm kind of exhausted from that. That was a fight. I can't imagine what a three, four, five hundred pounder would feel like, but all right, that totally made my day. As you can see, there's a big storm coming this way, so I might actually just call it right here. This was a quick, I don't know what I've been out here for maybe 15 minutes. So had a mission. Mission accomplished. We're gonna get back inside, get out of this storm. Later, guys. And thank you for watching another episode of Real One Charter. This will conclude our three-day fishing series. If you haven't already, click on part one or part two to catch the entire series. We hope you'll come back for more. If you haven't already, click on the subscribe button and the like button, as well as the little bell if you want to be notified every time we put out a new video. As always, I am Captain Manko, and thank you so much.